Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of addition and subtraction, specifically how we can make a 10 by composing or decomposing numbers, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we're looking at addition and subtraction facts, first grade is supposed to be memorizing or becoming familiar with addition and subtraction facts within 20. And so you might think, oh, that's pretty simple. I just need to memorize my facts up to 20. Memorizing them is pretty, a pretty good idea. But we also need to be able to compose and decompose. And so let's look at a basic fact like this, 8 plus 7. It would be good to know that that's a doubles plus 1. If you think of this, you might think, well, that's 7 plus 7. And that makes 14. And then this 8 is just one more. So we can add 1 to make 15, and that's a good strategy to know. It's called doubles plus 1, because you look for doubles and see if there's one of the add-ins is 1 or 2 more. But we also need to be able to decompose. So let's look at this 8 right here. I'm going to fill in my 10 frame here. I'm going to fill it in with 8. Now, another strategy that we need to be able to use in first grade is decomposing this second add-in to make a 10. Making a 10 is going to be very important for students to become familiar with in first grade because they're going to use it for the rest of their educational career, being able to break numbers apart. So what we need to think about is if I've got 8 in my 10 frame, well, as you can see, I've got two blanks left. So I need two more to fill up that 10 frame. Filling up 10 frame is good because that means we have 10, and 10 is what our number system is based off of. So what we do is we take this 7, and we're going to break this 7 into two different pieces. First, we want to break it up into 2, because that's how many spots we have open on our 10 frame. And then we got to think, well, 2 plus what makes 7? So that's 5. So 7 is really 2 plus 5. I'm going to take my 2, and I'm going to put them in this 10 frame. So now my 10 frame is full, and that's good because that's 10. And we know that based on place value, adding a one-digit number to 10 is going to be really easy because we just add that one-digit number to the ones place of the 10. So I've got this 10, and I've got this 5 left. So really what I'm looking at is 10 plus 5, and guess what that makes? 15. Because if you take 10 and count up 5, you're going to get 15, and that's what we already have. But we did it two different ways. Now let's see if we can use the strategy for a subtraction problem. So let's look at 13 minus 6. Well, once again, we're going to decompose this 6 to a 10, but let me show you what it looks like on a 10 frame. So 13 is a full 10 frame and 3 left over, because I have a 1 in the 10s place and then 3 1s left over. So I'm going to build it like this, 1, 2, 3. So when you decompose down to a 10. You want to take this second number, the 6 right here, and think, how can I get this down to a 10? And you see that I've got these three extras right here. So what I want to do is I want to do 13 minus 3 first. Because if I do my 13 minus 3, well, that's going to give me 10. So if I get rid of that, that's easy. Taken away from 10 is pretty easy because I know all combinations of 10. So my 6 is going to be 3 and 3, which means I'm going to take those next 3 away, and that's going to be 7, because 10 minus 3 equals 7. So now I know that 13 minus 6 is 7, because I broke this 6 down into a 3 first to make this 10, and another 3 to get it all the way down to my 7. One final example, I'll give you a chance to figure it out. Let's see if we can add. We're going to do 6 plus 8. Take a few moments, pause the video, and see if you can come up with your answer. When you're done, unpause it and check your work. So I've got my first add-in, 6. I've put it here in my 10 frame, and I can see there are 4 left over. So I'm going to take my 8, and I'm going to break it up into 4 to make my 10. So 6 plus 4 equals 10, and now I need to see... Well, out of 8, 8 is really 4 plus 4, so 10 plus 4 is going to make 14, and hopefully that is the answer you got.